Oh hey there! For this week's video, I will be showing you how to paint faux suede shoes like the ones I featured in my completed Early Regency robe video. First, you'll need a pair of faux suede shoes, a couple of paintbrushes, a jar with about an ounce of water in it, a couple of acrylic craft paints, and a swatch of the fabric that you're trying to match to, and scotch tape or perhaps painter's tape. That would actually probably be best. Okay, let's take off the laces. The craft paints that I'm using, they're the ones that you can easily find at your craft store. They're the cheapo kinds, like they're about like 50 to 79 cents or so per bottle. I found that I needed about half of one bottle to paint one pair of shoes. For the paint, when you mix it with the water, you just want to go ahead and get it to a semi-thick consistency, kind of like, in this case, strawberry milk. So I tested a little swatch on one of the laces and the color was great, so I was ready to paint my shoes. Okay, wait, hold up. We actually should probably tape up the soles of the shoes before we start painting. I only happen to have scotch tape. If you have painter's tape, I would totally recommend that. The scotch tape actually worked out pretty well for this project, especially like how you can kind of see here, I run my finger along the shoe and it adheres to the sole very nicely and no paint dripped through it. Yay, okay, so taping is done. Let's get back to painting. So when I'm painting, you just don't wanna go ahead and overload your brush with paint so you don't get drips everywhere. And when you're painting these shoes, especially these sort of look-alike Regency era shoes, you wanna go ahead and just uh, sort of pounce the paintbrush on the stitches just to get the paint to go ahead and saturate those little nooks and crannies. So I'm just going ahead and making sure that I get like every little spot. I did manage to go ahead and paint these to only use one coat of paint on these shoes. Another thing that I want to mention is that when you paint your shoes with the craft acrylic paint, just wanted to put it out there that after you paint them, they will no longer have that texture. So I went ahead, painted these shoes entirely, and they are good to go. And here the shoes are in my car. <laughs> and it's over 100 degrees in my car, so it makes it the perfect condition to go ahead and heat set the paint into the fabric of these shoes. Okay, so while these shoes heat set, uh, let's go ahead and paint the laces. But Wait, hold on one second. Before you go ahead and start painting the laces, I highly recommend that you go ahead and iron them first. So what I found while ironing these laces is that you gotta press really hard. I went ahead and put it on the highest heat level. I would advise that you just try synthetic first. Um, not all irons are the same. So in my case, I was able to go ahead and put the hottest temperature and there was no sort of melting or burning of the laces. But just pro tip, you 
are definitely going to want to go ahead and iron those. It'll make your life so much easier when you're painting and also lacing the shoes later. Okay, so painting the laces, just I am super messy, but just get the paint all over those laces. And then you're going to let it dry fully on one side, and then you flip it over, and then you paint the other side, basically, and then let it dry. And then after they're done drying, I would suggest going over uh, with the iron and pressing them one more time so that they're super, super straight and not unwieldy. Okay, so the shoes are ready after baking in my car. Let's go ahead and lace them up. Here you can see that that little uh, black line at the top of the screen is actually a pair of tweezers. Those come in real handy when you're lacing up these type of shoes. I try and squeeze like the little nubbins <laughs> where the laces go through to kind of open it up but still they can be kind of finicky and stubborn so that's where the tweezers come into play definitely makes life a lot easier to try and place those shoes up Shoes are all laced up. And uh, here is the before and after. They were nude before and now they are pretty and pink. I wanted to thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos. I would love to hear from you in the comments. It does let this new YouTuber know that real humans are watching and I'm not just talking into the void. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Bye.